there. Um, I had a request from a few students for a little mini tutorial on how to add our AST emails to our home email server account. So, um, for example, uh, Outlook Express, or in my case, MacMail. I'm going to use MacMail to show you, but I'll, I'll give you some little tips that it'll work pretty much exactly the same on your desktop version of Outlook Express, so that's quite useful. Um, so with Mail, with MacMail, you'll go into Mail and then Accounts. Now on your desktop computer, what you're going to do is you're going to go into um, your PC, I should say. You'll go into File, and then there'll be an Account and Social Network Settings or Account Settings or a similar thing, depending on how old your version of Outlook Express is. And then you'll click onto the sub subfolder of Account Settings. So once you're into Outlook Express, there'll be an option to click the word New uh, with a little yellow envelope on it. And it's very simple. All you do is you put in your name, your email address, and your password twice, and then click Next, and just all the little prompts that'll follow through. Um, sometimes it'll have a thing where it's saying that the server is redirecting. You should allow it to do that because uh, I don't know if you've noticed when you log into the AST, the portal, portal.office.com, it starts off as a very generic portal, and then it redirects us to one that's specifically for AST. Well, Outlook Express recognizes that that's happening, and as such, kind of wants us to notice it too and ask for our permission to let it do that. So now I'll show you all the steps on MacMail, which again are essentially the same. The only difference is that Outlook Express wants me to uh, type in the password twice. So you'll see it's uh, your email address or your username, depending on what program you're using, is always going to be your name, whatever version of your name that you got, either first, last name, whatever, at asdology.ns.ca, and then your password is going to be the same one that you used to get into the portal. Now I don't want you to think that having your email at Outlook Express means you don't have to look on the portal. You still need to look there for any files or anything of that nature that we're going to put up. So here on MacMail, I have the option to allow it to access different things or not. So maybe I don't want it to access my notes or reminders, uh, but I do want it. Of course, I want it to have access to mail because I want it to pick up my email. And then you just click done, and there it is, done like dinner. So the only thing you'll notice is on Mac, and I think it might do a similar thing on Outlook. It'll give kind of a weird name. Uh, you have the option here to change that, but that's not really, that's just how it looks to you, not to anyone else. So you'll notice I've already gotten all my emails coming in right in here. And something I really recommend you do is before you get to, before you assume that everything's working, send yourself a test email. You send it to another email address you have access to. So I picked my Gmail address that you all would have seen, and then just make sure it's being sent from your AST email. Just write the words test and test, and send it off. That way you know your, both your incoming and your outgoing mail are working, so you don't have any questions. And there's the email, because I have it hooked up to my phone, and you'll see it showed up here as well. So that's pretty much everything that you need to know about how to add it. Um, I will be in class on Wednesday, so if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to sit down with you either for class for those few minutes or the breaks. So bring in your laptops, uh, bring in your tablets. I do not recommend bringing in your PCs because the monitors are a little bit burdensome. Uh, eh? um, and I'll do my best to help you. And then after watching this tutorial, feel free to email me any questions you have. And if I have a moment, I'll do my best to answer them absolutely before Wednesday or you know in person on Wednesday if that works better for you. So I hope you're having a great week, and we will see you tomorrow night uh, for our next session. God bless.